Earl came to live with us because I had gotten um, a text from my boyfriend four years ago, I believe. Anyway, it was on it was on a January night, and it was cold. I remember we had a really really cold winter that year. But anyway, and uh, he told me about Earl. Of course, that wasn't Earl's name at the time. I don't know if Earl even had a name or not. But anyway, the people that had lived beside him went off, left a dog chained up with no food or water, and let the cat out. Earl had never been out of the house. Anyway, Earl came down to where my VF lives, and he said, I know you got more than, you know, you got so much on your plate. But I really cannot afford another cat. Is there any way you can take him? And I said, Lord, you didn't even have to ask. You bring him on to me. And he had um, gone up and, well, the wife had left. Had put the animals out and left him with nothing to eat or drink. So, um, but the husband because they went their separate ways. The husband had said, you know, I'll PayPal you some money to go get dog food. And the water, I remember, was frozen for the dog. And uh, anyway, so he was able to take care of the dog that way. But Earl came to us, and uh, we thought he was a kitten because he was so tiny. And, uh, but anyway, um, I boyfriend gave him the name Earl because I said what what do we name Earl what do we name him and we came up with Earl or he came up with Earl I usually name him but and he named Earl and he named Harper too but anyway and uh, so brought him down and um, Earl just fit right in didn't you buddy he just fit right in when we took him to the vet, the doctor said, he's not a kitten, he's an adult. He had been with two previous families, and I don't know what happened with the first one, but the second one just let him use a room that was that they didn't even have a litter box, so that tells you a lot right there. So I was concerned would he use a litter box, but he took to the litter box right off. Well, anyway, and... Uh, the reason why he was so little is just where he hadn't been taken care of, you know. I don't understand why people get animals if they're not going to friggin' care for them, you know. I don't understand that. And there's Cammie. She came down to get some ice. Didn't you, babe? Anyway. And, uh, you know, don't get an animal if you're not going to care for them. Really? Don't do that. And anyway, so... They dewormed him and gave him some different meds and, of course, had him vaccinated. And once he was given the wormer, he started to pick up weight. And he's the big boy you see today. And though I don't know when his original birthday is, I said from when he was brought down to me in that January, that I would go from that time. So he's four years old. But, of course, I know he's a senior cat. That's okay, because I don't always know the dates of them. But that's how Earl came to live with us, and there's Savannah. And uh, they like to lick the ice I get out of the ice maker, so I bring them a cup in here and let them lick the ice. Yeah, I know. But anyway, but that's the story of Earl. He's a very good boy. He don't pick on nobody. He don't say nothing to nobody. He's just real quiet. Riley's over there looking. Riley, there's some ice over here, baby girl. Oh, anyway. You want to say bye? Say bye-bye. Yeah. Look at that little sweet face. He's totally gray. There's no white on him whatsoever. He's such a good boy. I love you, Earl. I love all my babies. I love the babies. <laughs>